have I done? Why did I invest my money in this piece? Oh my God, selfie mode. Oh my gosh, selfie mode. Oh my gosh. I just flopped around my head. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Shaquel YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm gonna be reviewing for you the newer selfie mode by Raquel Welch. But before I jump into it, I'm gonna remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys, the hype around selfie mode, I swear, has been like no other I've seen before. Everyone is just like, oh my God, selfie mode. Oh my gosh, selfie mode. Oh my gosh, you need selfie mode. Finally, here I am. I don't know how it took me so long, but <laughs> I finally have my hands on selfie mode, ready to show it to you in all its glory. But I want to hear from you guys. After watching this, do you think that selfie mode has lived up to all that hype? Or is it just kind of like, meh? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you have tried this already, also let us know your experience with it because we love hearing from you guys. Okay, so what I have here right now is selfie mode fresh out of the box. I have done absolutely nothing to it. She still has the zigzag part going on. I haven't brushed it or combed it or shaken it or done a thing. I just plopped her on my head. So I'm gonna be here to give you all of the details of this piece and some of my first impressions. Let's start out with the color I'm showcasing here. So this is in the color RL8 slash 12 SS, otherwise known as SS Iced Mocha or Shaded Iced Mocha, whatever you wanna say for it. This is going to be a base of an eight. So an eight is going to be your sort of neutral medium brown color. And then the 12 throughout here is going to be a lighter, a little bit more cooler brown highlighting going throughout. It's very subtle. If you just want a little sprinkling of pizzazz to the color, then this is great because it's not just a solid brown. It's going to have a little bit extra coloring throughout it with that lighter, um, cooler brown highlight here. So selfie mode is said to be a light to medium density. I would say that this leans more to the medium side. It does feel like quite a bit of hair. And I mean, that's likely also due to the fact that there are these curls and waves in here that add to it, but it's especially feeling like a lot of hair because there is permatease in here and there is a decent amount. There's going to be permatease along the whole side of your wefting. Like I feel permatease the whole thickness of my hand right in this section. And I'm sure you can see that too, how there is that extra bit of poof right on the sides. You're also gonna find that goes all the way around the back here and you'll get that permatease in the crown. So this is going to feel and look like a lot of hair. So we're leaning closer to the medium density with a lot of permatease. <laughs> Now let me give you a quick rundown of the style and the lengths here. So in the front, we do have 13 inches right in sort of the bang section. You are not gonna find a ton of layering in this style at all. There's, there's a little bit, but there's, there's not a lot. So the front is 13 inches. That's gonna be your shortest piece on this style. From the crown, we run about 17 inches. We have 15 inches on the side, so that will create a little bit of layering in this style here where it doesn't all match the same length. But again, these are long layers, so you're not truly gonna see a ton of it. And then from your nape, so right from the back here, this is gonna be 12 inches in length. Let me give you a spin here so you can see it in all its glory. Now, one thing that Permatease also does for a wig, other than giving it that volume and lift that you see here, is that it also helps to hide the wefting below all the hair. So if the wind blows or if you move your hair in a different way, you're not gonna see right through to your scalp right away. That wefting provides a little bit of a barrier and a little bit of a layer. So permatease is often a really good thing to have, even if it's just a small layer to help hide those wefts. You will find though that on this one, the permatease does stop about midway down your head here. 
and the bottom half is not really going to have any permatees. Um, it's mostly situated in this upper section here and the rest of the body you find down here is just going to be from that style and that curl that's added to this wig. Now selfie mode is made with Raquel Welch's true to life heat friendly fibers. So you are able to, of course, apply heat to this. You can see what this is like completely straightened out, or you can tone down these waves or curls with some heat if you find like it's too much. One thing you will find though, with this one in particular, is that because it is longer, it's going to tangle more. Heat friendly fibers have a tendency to tangle a little bit more easily than your plain synthetics, especially when they are longer. Also, heat friendly fibers are gonna get frizzy and it's gonna happen pretty fast. Within the first few wears, you're gonna find that it's gonna feel frizzy and you're gonna be like, what have I done? Why did I invest my money in this piece? <laughs> um, you just have to be prepared to maintain it. Heat friendly fibers need heat in order to be looking their best. So once you find that the ends are getting a little bit frizzy due to the friction on your clothing, due to the combing to get the tangles out, once you find that frizz is happening, go and get your hair straightener, go through the ends as you curl them to help maintain that smooth feeling fiber. So if you are someone who does not like maintaining anything and you just want something to throw on and go and not worry about, you might not love this. You might be bothered by the tangles, you might be bothered by the frizziness that happens, and you might be bothered by the fact that you have to use heat on it. All right, let's talk about the features on this wig. So we do have, of course, a lovely lace front. It is extended into your ear tab and melts nice and seamlessly into that ear tab, so there's not an abrupt transition from lace to cap. It just gradually decreases in size until it blends into your ear tab, which is really nice. Let me show you this side as well. And of course, Raquel Welch always does a really great job of the sizing of their knots. They don't do huge knots, which is wonderful. Let me pull this right back off my face for you so you can see what it's gonna look like all the way back. I've mentioned this before. I'll always mention this. <laughs> I, as much as I love Raquel Welch's hairlines because of their smaller knots and because of the fact that they aren't so dense and they're easy to pull back, I don't love the fact that they're so perfect. And because they are so perfect, my personal preference is not to pull them back like this because who in the world has a hairline that's as perfect as this? Not a lot of people. So anytime I ever pull my pieces back, I always, always leave smaller pieces in the front just to help disguise that hairline so that you can't see how perfect it is. Even though it's a lovely hairline, I just don't like how perfect it is. <laughs> but again, that's just my personal preference and how I've been doing it over the years just with my experience. Something else that Selfie Mode has is a full monofilament top. So we are able to part this anywhere we want on top to give you that illusion of scalp. And what's great about this is that it's not too dense. You are gonna find that you see an actual part line. There's some wigs that are so dense that even after you part it, it's like you're fighting to find that part line and you have to pluck away a lot of hairs in order to find that part line. But this one, I find to be pretty realistic in terms of your part line and how dense it should be. So of course, with a full monofilament top, you can have a center part, you can have a left part, you can have a right part. You can have all the parts in the world, which is ideal for all of our right parted ladies because there are so many wigs out there that have only a left part. And man, that is frustrating for all of you right parted people out there. <laughs> but these full monofilament tops are the way to go if you want a right part, because for some reason, they don't seem to make right parted wigs. I don't know why, like why? What is the reasoning behind it? I don't know, did they do a survey of the world and, and see like who's a left parted person and who's a right parted person? And then like 99% of the world said they're left parts? I don't know. <laughs> Annie who is also starting to ramble, let's move on. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys, even with me just sitting here talking to you, I did just take this out of the box right before I started this video. Um, I haven't been doing anything other than talking and yes, I, I move around a lot. I'm very, very flamboyant speaker, but um, 
I wanted to show you, even with just that, it is feeling tangled already, like I'm getting stuck in here. So it, it will probably be a wig that gets tangly. <laughs> And since that's the case, I do recommend taking a wide tooth comb with you um, and periodically combing it throughout the day. Or what's even better is just, especially on these wavy pieces, is just using your fingers to work through just to help make sure you're not pulling too much of the fibers. Because what happens is as you pull at the fibers with a comb, what it does is it sort of stretches it out and then it goes like bling. And that's what uh, causes that frizziness at the end. Kind of like when you're wrapping a, a gift with that ribbon and you take your scissors, pull it with the ribbon and then it coils back up. That's sort of how I envision the frizziness happening as you're combing it, it's pulling, and then it's going bing. <laughs> Anyways, using your fingers is a great way to help combat the tangles throughout the day. And then going in with a comb and even some detangling spray like the John Renault detangler, that's a great way at the end of your day to work through it even more. Now, the fit of this cap feels very true to average. I'm 20.5 inch circumference, 11 and a half front to nape, 11 and a half ear to ear. This would fit me much better if I brought the adjusters in just a little bit. However, even just as it is, it's not huge on me. So I feel like this is very true to average. There is some room for growth though. So if you do have a bigger, a little bit bigger than average circumference, you should be able to fit in this just fine. And then in terms of the rest of the cap, of course it is a little bit bulky on me. So if you are more of an average size front to nape, um, it will fit you a little bit better. And then if you are a little bit bigger than average, the fact that this is an open wefted cap will give you some of that stretch to help get it over your front to nape um, measurement. But this definitely is very true to average. But now that I have this off, let's look at the cap here. So here's that full monofilament top that gives you the ability to part it wherever you want and that illusion of natural scalp. Here's that extended lace front. See how it gradually gets smaller, melting into your ear tabs here on both sides. And then this is our open wefted cap, which is great for ventilation, breathability, and stretch. We also have these silicone strips throughout your wefting, just for a little bit of extra grip. Um, and then velvet ear tabs, a velvet extended nape, and your Velcro adjusters. All right, I'm gonna put this back on so we can look at it one more time here. Now, I wanted to show you also what would happen if we do some kind of an updo. So this would be a great updo wig. Um, I typically prefer having face framing layers in the front just to help make it look a little bit softer and more dainty and just to hide hide more of the hairline and hide sort of where my ears are. But this one still would work well for an updo without having those layers in front. However, all that being said, this would be an easy one to cut a curtain bang in as well, or you could even cut a straight across bang too. Um, I do have a video on how to cut bangs into your wig if you want to look back on that. Um, but anytime you have a full monofilament top and a lace front, that makes it really easy to cut bangs of any type into your wigs. All right, I think I've shared everything I need to share about selfie mode, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it and if you think that this has lived up to all of the hype surrounding it. Now, in my opinion, I do really like this piece. I think it is beautiful. The style is amazing. Um, I don't feel like this is one that I would wear every day though. This is not to me an everyday throw and go kind of a wig. It just seems a little bit more done up for me than I would typically want on my day to day. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that there is a good amount of permatease in here creating all this volume. I just feel like for me, that's a bit too much for my daily life. That's not to say I don't like it though. I do feel like the permatease is necessary on this style and does make it what it needs to be, but it's just a little bit much for my daily life. I would love wearing this more as like an evening function wig, um, going out and about, out for dinner, a little bit more of a dressed up event. This one would be perfect for me. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up here. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I always appreciate you being here, interacting with me in the comments and just following along with me and my journey with Shaquelle. Have a really great day, you guys. Bye. Thank you.